A few months ago, I was in a filmmaking seminar. We had sent in our treatments for our five minute films, and the seminar leader was going to give us feedback. I was the first person to be given feedback, and the seminar leader asked me, What were you thinking when you wrote this? I panicked and offered an explanation, referring back to the things I was taught about characters and narrative structure. He told me the formatting was wrong, and the whole thing was way too long. And that's when he brought out his stopwatch. He demanded I read out the whole treatment, and he would time me to see if it would fit in five minutes. Panicking, I started to read. But I was going too fast. He said, start again. Not, not quite my tempo. Once I'd read it out, I felt humiliated and embarrassed. He could have simply said it was too long and leave it at that, but he decided to make an example out of me. I felt awful afterwards. I had seen the same seminar leader make examples out of other students, but I never thought it would happen to me. After that, I looked at him with resentment. I couldn't let the event go. I was incapable of stopping the memory from replaying in my mind over and over again, like a stock record. This was until I discovered Active Love, a tool created by the psychotherapist Phil Stutz. The tool promises to reduce the hate you feel and replace it with love and compassion. The tool consists of three steps. The first step is to focus on the feeling of love. The best way to do this is to think of the people you love and the things you are grateful for. Epictetus said, he is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not but rejoices for those which he has." End quote. Doing this nurtures a natural feeling of wholeness and peace. See my video, the last video you will ever watch, for more on the benefits of gratitude. The kind of peace you feel when you do this is analogous to below the surface of the ocean, a calm stillness. You are on a boat on the surface, battling the tumultuous waves of hate and resentment. But if you look deep into the ocean, you will find the feeling of love and peace that is connected with your natural state of being. The second step of active love is to transmit this feeling of love to the person you resent. See a clear picture of this person in your mind and allow the love to penetrate him or her deeply. Hold nothing back. As Alan Watts said, you and I are as much continuous with the physical universe as a wave is continuous with the ocean." End quote. Transmitting this love highlights this connection with not just the person you resent, but the whole of humanity. The third and final step is to feel the love enter this person and watch how this love comes back to you. Both of you share this loving kindness. We are all dysfunctional, and we all make mistakes. This active love is a reminder that we are more similar than we think. This doesn't mean we have to forgive this person. We simply let go of hate. As the Buddha said, holding on to anger is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. End quote. After doing this active love regularly, I now have less resentment for my seminar leader. I'm not doing it for him, it's for me. It is very hard to be at peace when hate is in your heart. After ducks fight, they swim away and flap their wings. They get rid of the excess energy and then get back on with their day. You never see a duck with resentment. Let nature teach you how to let go. But what if this doesn't work for you? What if you still feel anger towards someone, and you can't let it go? Maybe you should express, calmly and rationally, what your problems are with this person. Or, as in my case, make a video about it to get it out of my head and written down. But you could simply write it down in a journal. Take it out of your subconscious and make it conscious. This is in line with the idea of life force, another tool created by Phil Stutz. The life force tool is a pyramid of three things to focus on to have a good life. The body, exercise and nutrition, interpersonal relationships, 
embracing community feeling. And the top of the pyramid concerns yourself, where you connect with your subconscious mind. This can be done through meditation, personal development, and journaling. This is where active love resides. Stutz explains that if you don't do this active love, you'll be stuck in a maze. In this maze, you are stuck in the past. The world is moving forward without you. Your peace of mind is destroyed because you've refused to accept life. The things that are really important to you don't get done because you are lost in the maze. So, when you catch yourself in the maze, you now know the tool needed to get out. Active love. As the psychotherapist Alfred Adler said, empathy is seeing with the eyes of another, listening with the ears of another, and feeling with the heart of another. End quote. 